Hello ladies and gentlemen, guys and ghouls, my name's Kevin and welcome to my channel, The Art of Horror. Today I'll be doing some more subscriber requested artwork. Today's artwork was suggested by subscriber Ybot plays like a bot. Ybot asked if I could draw a berserker from the game Gears of War. As I love the games from the Gears of War series, I couldn't help but oblige. Ybot also wanted to see this picture done in VR in Kingspray. It took me just over an hour and there's something very relaxing about using this program. I just go into a meditative state when I get into it and really enjoy myself. Here's what the Gears of War wiki has to say on Berserkers. Berserkers are female locust drones, blind but powerful. Berserkers were known for their highly developed sense of hearing and smell extremely durable bodies and extremely aggressive behavior. Berserkers, even though they are blind, use their sense of smell and hearing to find their targets. Berserkers can be killed once their extremely tough skin is heated or set ablaze, allowing significantly more damage to be done to them, or by sustained small arms fire. They are also fast enough to catch a speeding train. During the evacuation of Lima, a berserker was sent to Lima High School, where it slaughtered hundreds of civilians waiting to be evacuated. She was later discovered by Zeta-6, who had been sent to investigate the school. They battled the berserker, making a quick escape by using the bleachers since they did not have anything to weaken the berserker's armour. After exiting the school, the berserker had also caught up with them and was unaware where they were. She later heard a car alarm and charged at the car that emitted the alarm, destroying the car and burning her own skin. Zeta-6 later took advantage of her blindness to trick her into running into more cars and after a long battle was finally killed. Berserkers are typically 10 feet tall, use their fists and heavy mass as a weapon. They are blind, bullet resistant, extremely aggressive, extremely fast and extremely strong. The Locust Horde, often called the Locust Army by humans, was a race of reptilian humanoids that, until Emergence Day, have lived in and established their civilization in the subterranean regions of Serra, known as the Hollow. The Locust Horde consisted of a common race of drones and all manner of other creatures that were indigenous to the underground tunnels. The majority of the Horde's technology was stolen or salvaged from what the humans dumped or reverse engineered from their enemy's technology. However, the Locust Horde was able to develop some of their own tech, including small arms weapons, heavy weapons, armor for use on their tamed beasts, munitions, architecture, and they had a considerable grasp of computer technology. A typical Locust is a hulking brute of a creature, almost seven feet tall, although many are larger, and they are bipedal, muscular creatures with a tough skin. They are considerably more bulky than a normal human and notably stronger. Their bones are heavier and show signs of extensive thickening. Locust blood is a deep reddish orange in coloration. A locust has multiple internal organs. The berserker locust are the only known female locust. The only known method of locust reproduction is the mating of a berserker and a drone. I'd just like to thank Ybot for giving me a lot of support getting this channel started. He is a fellow YouTuber and runs his own channel called Ybot Plays Like a Bot. He features gameplay videos and gaming news, loves his Gears of War and Halo and recently has been featuring PUBG. And I highly recommend his channel and I'll leave a link to his channel in the description if you would like to check it out. So thank you once again for all your help Ybot. I hope you like this picture of a berserker. If you enjoyed this video please feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more videos like this from me please feel free to subscribe for more. If you have any suggestions for some art you'd like to see me do, please leave it in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Kevin for The Art of Horror. Until next time, goodbye for now.